We're pleased to be joined now by the new defensive coordinator here at Notre Dame, Mike Elko, fresh off a successful three-year stint at Wake Forest, where he put up some impressive numbers. Most recently, last season, you were one of just two FBF schools. I love these numbers to rank in the top 20 in turnovers for sacks, red zone defense, and scoring defense. Your defenses make big plays. Yeah, I think that's a big part of the modern day of football, right? We've got to be disruptive. We've got to create tackles for loss. We've got to put pressure on the quarterback and, and, and create negative plays. And really coach players up now I mean we're so obsessed in the society with the stars <laughs> on athletes and I've never put that much stock in them but people say that you will go up against teams that have better athletes than you do and you shut those teams down how do you do that uh, I think we get the kids to buy into a system and, and buy into realizing that 11 players can play together uh, better than any one person can play by himself and so kids buy into what we're doing uh, we have a lot of fun doing it and kids get excited now, sir, at Notre Dame, with the successful recruiting that they have here year in and year out, you're probably going to have a slightly, if not dramatically, higher level of athlete to work with. I'm excited about Notre Dame because the, the ceiling is unlimited, right? When, when you're doing this thing right, you're doing it as well as anyone in the country, and you can make this whatever you want it to be, and uh, we want to compete for championships. So tell me or, or give the fans watching this at home a, a bit of a picture. What will they see from the Notre Dame defense this year? Uh, they'll see a defense that plays with a tremendous amount of effort. Uh, they'll see a team that's having a lot of fun and playing an exciting brand of football. Uh, we're going to attack, we're going to create turnovers, and we're going we're gonna to put pressure on the quarterback. And you brought with you your linebackers coach at Wake Forest, Clark Lee. How is that synergy going to help? Uh, it, a ton, right? Anytime you're taking over a new system and you got a guy that's familiar with how you want to do things and can help deliver the message the way you want it delivered, uh, that makes you feel really good about it. Pass rush is always an issue, and Notre Dame goes after the top pass rushers in the country. It's one area that they haven't had the same amount of success in recruiting that they've had in some of the other positions. So how do you generate a pass rush? Uh, however you got to do it, uh, whether it's four, whether it's five, whether it's six, we got to find a way to make sure the quarterbacks get very uncomfortable playing in, in the pocket, and we can't allow people to be comfortable back there. And so uh, we'll find a way, somehow, some way. What excites you about the players that you will be coaching this year? Because, again, last year there was a necessary change made, and when the change was made, this defense showed dramatic and rapid improvement. So how excited are you to work with that group? I, I've been more excited in the last week, to be honest with you. Uh, I was excited when I took the job. Thought we had a ton of talent in the program. Uh, thought the sky was the limit for where we could go with this group. Uh, and then just to see how hungry they are, uh, how hungry they are in the weight room, uh, how much they're coming up around the offices trying to learn the scheme and learn the system. And so, uh, yeah, a ton of excitement around here right now. What excited you enough to come to Notre Dame? winning a national championship, right? I think that's what it's all about. And, uh, you know, when you get into coaching football, uh, you want to be able to coach the best. And, and Notre Dame gives you the chance to coach the best players and the best people, right? And that was big for me, too. It's a bottom line business. You are what your record says you are. So Notre Dame was 4-8, and eight, but seven of those losses were by 32 points. So they were right on the edge of being really, really good, but they weren't. How will you make sure that those close losses turn into at least close, <laughs> if not big wins? Yeah, I think that's the challenge. And, and we got to make sure that we get kids to, to buy into the little details of football. I think that's what makes all the difference when you're talking about fourth quarter games and how you come out on top of those games. Mike, thank you for the time. Good luck. Look forward to working with you. Appreciate it. Thanks. With Notre Dame's new defensive coordinator, Mike Elko, I'm Jack Nolan, Fighting Irish Media.